let's start. Today we will see how to calculate the Camarilla pivot point levels of the next day in the TradingView Pine script so that a trader could plan a trade well in advance. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name next day Camarilla pivot points. First, we calculate the current day daily time frame close, high, and low values. We use the security function for this. The first argument of this function is the current stock name, the second argument is the daily time frame, and the third argument is today's close, high, and low values. The fourth argument handles the gaps. The fifth argument handles the bar merge. Then, we calculate the pivot value like this. Then using the pivot, we calculate the resistance and support levels like this. Now, we want to plot these pivot point levels on the next day. So we first check if the current bar is the last bar or not. Then we plot the pivot point levels using the line.new function. We extend the lines to the right side. This is how we show the pivot point levels in the labels. To use this indicator, we need to add this indicator at the end of the day, so that this indicator can capture today's close, high, and low values, and then calculate the next day's pivot point levels. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, at the last bar of this chart, you can see the next day's Camarilla pivot point levels. Now a trader may do his analysis and plan tomorrow's trade. Beware that, this indicator is not supposed to be used in the live market. This indicator is made to use at the end of the day only. So that's it. That's how you can plot the next day's Camarilla pivot point levels in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.